Good morning, folks. Today I'm, I'm going to be doing two videos, and I uh, hope everybody's doing good actually, in good health. And uh, it's already early morning in Bangladesh. I don't know what time is it over there with you. So I always say good morning, so I never say good evening or good, you know, whatever it is. So uh, the first episode I'm going to be doing here is actually a thanks to one of my subscribers. I just really love my subscribers. I never, you know, I always am surprised like how I'm getting all these ideas from you guys that you know you give in the comment section once in a while you might think i'm not reading all the comments but i do just sometimes you know i'm just like life is so busy so i have to come back later and then reply to your comments you know so one of the subscribers wrote uh brother could you please uh, give us a uh, sort of like a guideline or a video make a video on uh, how to test uh, or buy fragrances as a beginner or as a new you know uh, entrant because many of the people they don't have like you know like the nose match your nose or they don't know how to test it they just go and blind buy or they buy something and regret it later so i'm gonna be trying to give i think quite a few points here i'll try to go quickly i don't know how long the video is gonna be but i hope this video will help a lot of people out there who are watching and the second part i'm gonna be doing um <clears throat> my this this beautiful fragrance this is such a beautiful fragrance creates virgin island water this is this is gonna be interesting trust me and um uh, scent of the morning uh, of course morning freshness what i really always you know correlate is migla cologne this is the best i haven't put it on actually i'm having my coffee slash milo with a lot of uh, sugar because i like the sugar in the morning which i shouldn't take anyway scent of the morning one two three four bum five I'm actually four and tap so it's this thing actually always wake up your senses such beautiful citrus and uh, grassy feel to it and the bar of soap is just always refreshing i like the original vetiver but that one is uh, for special occasion i use it because it's a bit more premium <laughs> just kidding so i also have uh, i like the neroli that i get from it very fresh very fresh this one is my recommendation blind by worthy and now let's move on to the points okay so how i'm gonna do this is I'll tell you from my perspective. You may agree, you may not agree. You can do your own thing. But the first one is, the first suggestion I will give you is, uh, go to this website called Fragrantica. I'll put the link down. Many of people already know. Most of you guys know what Fragrantica is. Fragrantica and Base Notes both. I usually go for Fragrantica because that's what I've been using for some time as a reference point. Excuse me. The the morning. Excuse me. Mm, better. So yes, so what you, what you can get from Fragrantica is new releases. If there's new release, they have, uh, you know, they always will say like, okay, this is a new fragrance from this brand, okay? Second, they have like an Encyclopedia Britannica, I told you before. It's like a huge archive of fragrances. People put there, they put there, they put notes, how many likes, how many dislikes, day, night, day time, night time, cold, hot weather, mm, the classification, woody aromatic, woody shipra, uh fresh spicy stuff like that and then people uh, they, they'll be like pictures also they'll put the notes top notes middle notes and then the base notes as well as people's comments so when you go to the comment section don't usually follow the voting much because voting usually sometimes are biased many people just click the hate or love before even the fragrance is being released so don't go for the voting what you have to do is go down if there are comments down there many times there will be comments on the most popular ones so if you find a comment that has the there will be like a side there will be small small balloons you know balloon signs so if you see the one with the most balloons that means that was the most uh, appropriate accurate or most popular comment so read that you get some idea so do go to fragrantica first of all just to get some idea okay I'm sorry because my nose is blocked so if i don't drink hot stuff i cannot talk properly Second thing I would say, go for reviews. You already know. You guys watching my review means you already watch reviews. But I know many people who are kind of lazy. Just see the review. Oh, okay. If it's two minutes squeaky, they just watch it. They don't watch uh, like the... I'm not saying my video. I'm saying any detailed video they don't like to watch. <laughs> the thing is, guys, when you actually want to learn about something, you cannot get anything. Like, let's say you are trying to learn how to drive. Can you get it in one hour, two hours? Unless you are like Fantastic Four, one of them. Uh, or or maybe matrix you know you are trinity you can't learn something so quickly so i my personal belief is i try to do detailed reviews so it gives you every single aspect so you have to be a little, little um patient 
to learn. You cannot even earn a degree with like for like just like taking one session or one class, can you? So yes, do watch a lot of reviews. Don't be lazy. Telling you, tell you guys, don't be lazy. Don't watch my reviews. It's okay. But watch. There are a lot of good reviewers. Top 10 reviewers. You guys already know. There are big names. Mark, Rob08, Steven, um, Coach Rob. You know, my makers. There's a huge Chad. So anyway, Jeremy Fragrance. You guys know their names. So see if they reviewed it. If you see five reviews or three reviews on one fragrance, you already know. If they all gave it thumbs up, means it's likely it's going to be a good one. Okay? So do watch a lot of reviews. Third thing I will say is... Uh, test for yourself how do you test for yourself so for me uh, I test myself because I have uh, been doing this myself I've been uh, getting samples you can do it two ways when you purchase fragrances in foreign countries I think they give you free samples with any purchase they give you three four samples like brand new ones or the ones coming or even the old ones they give you in a small let me show you actually you get some idea this is one let's say for example sample from Creed this is thanks to Fahad Bhai Fahad Bhai thank you this is uh, Fahad Bhai, uh, one of our uh, community members, group members, big brother of mine. He gifted me this one. As I see, it's from Creed official uh, sample. See, it comes in this, right? See the sample. It comes in, I think, small, small samples. So either they give it to you if you can purchase them, purchase them. Also, you can buy decants that I do decanting. I told you my page. This is to help you uh, to get taste of fragrance of five or ten animals, which I offer. So you can test it. For sometimes and after you finish that testing you already know by then if you want the fragrance or not if you want a full bottle or not because full bottles sometimes are a very big investment sort of so i would suggest you test it okay and how to test it try not to get one of those uh like this kind of no okay let me tell you what not to get try to get the samples that comes with sprayers don't try to get the one that is like you know drop droplet or something like that you know problem with those are you know they don't give you the optimum you know outcome so what i did was for example this one <coughs> see bush around poor home okay for example i have i had it in a small bottle like this it came in a official miniature like this which are more pricey okay so this one was uh, in this bottle let's say just giving details because it i think it, it is helpful when it comes in comes in like this it looks very nice right the small little bottle looks very oh bush around oh, i got the miniature bottle the problem with this is when you open it there's no sprayer so it's like open so you have to like put it on the skin like other in that way you don't get the ultimate satisfaction or the outcome of fragrance you need to spray it in a certain way so it will you know it will spray nicely and to like spread on your skin and then it will give you the proper opening mead and dry down that's how you have to test so i would suggest go with test a uh, sprayer and try to go with uh, good sprayers you know that pssst, has a very decent sprayer even the small bottle so yes so if you have a uh, small details like a small decants like that if you carry it around test it for about a month or a week you already have an idea okay so test it yourself put your nose to it always make sure don't listen to people many people i'll give you an example many people they said this fragrance you know on their channel this mr burberry it sucks it's it's nothing mind-blowing this is amazing fragrance it gets noticed in bangladesh this is one of the nicer performer in our condition we want the longest lasting as well very good projector so yes Never listen to people, test it for yourself. Next one, it would be um, try three ways. Okay, when you go to the mall, this is how you test if you're new. You have to tell them because they're not going to give you like liberal spray, oh, press spray here. You know, you cannot, you cannot expect them to be doing this. Oops. If, if you do that in the shopping mall yourself, they will either arrest you or they will think you're crazy. So you don't want to be either one. So what you want to do is try once on your skin. That's the best test I can tell you. If they spray just once, maybe just one more, try it on your skin. Okay? Why on your skin and why here? This is the best place where I put fragrance and I smell. This is a sniff test place. Okay? Let's say it's a, let's say a sample strip on your skin, right? When you sniff it, so you get the good idea of the opening and then you see where the dry down goes. Always, always put priority. What is the dry down like? How does it last? Or how does it transform on your skin? Because fragrances transform differently on different people's skin. On me, fragrances get more soapy than fresh, which sucks, okay? So I go more on the clothes. Then, when you try it on your skin, then you know if it's for you or not, because the fragrance can be good, but it may not be good for you, or maybe not suitable for you, because it may be overpowering, too much coconut, whatever, things you hate. So when you try it on you, that's the best test, that's the must test. Second thing you do is, try to get one of the paper and bring it back. When they give you test strips, okay, I don't have, uh, they'll give you like something like this, okay? So when they give it to you, 
bring it back home. Don't mix two, three samples together, then the smell will get mashed up. Keep them separate places and don't try too many fragrances in one day on your hand or paper, whatever. It will confuse your head and brain. So what you do is bring it back and see how long it lasts on the paper. It also tells you something and how you like the smell. That's one. Third one you can go is you can go on your clothes, which is same as the paper, either paper or clothes. So you see how long it stayed on your clothes. So that's add the test. So after doing that, you know how long it lasted, how it, uh, you know, sort of developed on you. Okay. Next is, um, always take your partner or uh, wife or friend, whoever you really like and treasure and you value the opinion, take them with you shopping. Or when you buy a sample, you can show your friend or your wife or your partner. They ask them if they like it on you because it's really important. You don't wear something that you really scare your wife or girlfriend and they give you bad opinion or negative uh, dislike on your fragrance because it will demotivate you. It will really get you upset because you really love something and then they didn't appro approve of it. You know, The thing is, problem with that is when you purchase it, you regret your purchase. So show that sample on your skin and ask her, do you like this on me? How do you, how do you, do you can hear, can you smell me from far? If they say, thumbs up, thumbs up, they say it's okay, it's good, no problem, that's also a good sign, okay? But if they say, uh, it's nice, but watch out for that but, no but is good, <laughs> okay? Next is, uh, uh, don't hesitate to pull the trigger, okay? This one I'll tell you, very important, because how you collect is, uh, you really sometimes have to blind buy some things that if you're not, it is the worst case scenario, that's the extreme case, that is, sometimes there's no sample, there's nothing available, there's very rare fragrances, you know? Let's say black Afghano, in our country you cannot sample it so just give you an idea many countries maybe it's available but the 30 ml bottle no one usually decap so when you actually uh, let's say want to buy a fragrance and you know you're convinced you know these notes are for you you have been in the game for some time and people everybody saying it's great and you know that's your type of fragrance you should sometimes be brave enough to pull the trigger even though i never recommend blind buy but if you really want something go for it sometimes things get sold out uh, discontinued or price gets jacked up reformulation so don't wait too long to pull a trigger remember that uh, and the thing is very important uh, there are two points left thing is first one is uh, second last one is um, don't ever buy the clone of a fragrance and I don't mean to say it like never ever do no I don't mean that what I mean is sometimes when you really crave for a fragrance you know you end up buying that fragrance in the end which I did for example the best example I can give you is Chris Aventus this stuff I bought tons of clones of it i don't have any regrets on any clones by the way because i love buying fragrances for me any fragrance worth the purchasing is not a you know a loss or a regret for me okay because i love my babies so what i'm going to tell you is if you're the kind of collector you're not a collector if you're just like a fragrance user and you don't want to buy so many bottles always save up the money and buy quality product what you really want because you end up after trying three four clones of something you're going to end up buying the main one so in the process you just wasted some money right you can do whatever you want to do but don't spend the money on some things three four cheap fragrances and buy not buy the one that you really love you really always have back in your head that the pain you know i wanted that one but i couldn't get that one right so always buy what you really want okay go for go after that the last one is find legit shops always buy from original sellers in our community i try to promote myself the people i really trust i buy from and i really always recommend their names because they give you good deals as well make sure because don't buy from somewhere retail most of the time i wouldn't recommend because retail means yes you get the intact yes you can get a chanel bag you can get yeah chanel beautiful girls like no hi sir you hey, trust me <laughs> you just want the perfume <laughs> just kidding by the way girls if they're giving you nice service and you know it's okay go for the chanel okay so anyway hold on uh, sorry, someone knocked on the door. So all the time if you leave with the family, they always knock. Anyway, so what I'm trying to say is try to find legit sellers, even if Dickens or uh, full bottle, see where people are buying from. If you see a lot of good, positive feedback coming from that shop, there's no fakes, nothing. Always go for it. Even the site, always check with your friends who bought it from there or not. If you see a super cheap deal, don't go for it. Why? Because sometimes in eBay, sometimes, for example, they sell a lot of this expensive fragrance for fraction of a price you can go huh buy it you will just wasted ten dollars of yours twenty dollars or twenty dollars for your from your pocket 
don't do that always buy from legit sellers so yes those are the tips i would give you if you are trying to buy if you're a newcomer all right take care have a nice day and wait for the review on virgin allen water bye, -bye.